Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Ghost Paper. And for today's video we're going to be using Procreate 5 and in this one I'm going to be showing you and building together a brush that does exactly like this. If you want to learn how you can make this super cool neon calligraphy brush as well as at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you the brush pack that I've prepared with 13 different brushes and that's going to be at the end of this video as well as the link will be in the description box of this video. So how do we actually build something like this? So we're going to start, we're going to go into the airbrushing section of Procreate 5 and then we're going to take, for example, the hard airbrush here. We're just going to make a duplicate and we're going to click edit. Then we're just going to go here into the about section and just want to rename it so we're making sure that we're not actually editing the original one. I'm just going to call it Neon Brush Test. All right, and you know, once you make a brush, you can even sign it right here. So if you make a brush, you can say ghost paper, and you can do whatever you want, you can even upload a picture. But this one, we're just gonna be building up and I'll show you guys the effect uh, once we start adding some color to it. So uh, first things first here, as you can see, this brush comes with pressure sensitive and also has a little bit of tapering. So we actually wanna get rid, first thing that we're going to do here is to get rid of all of the ta tapering, turn off um, tip animation and classic taper. We just wanna have uh, just you know a standard brush with no tapering, no opacity uh, by pen pressure. Uh, we actually wanna turn all of these behaviors off. So on taper, we're just gonna zero all this, all this stuff opacity you don't have to touch it really then here on shape uh, this is basically the shape that we actually want we just want a simple circle here without any feathering we don't really need randomize so I'm just gonna turn that off we don't need any grain so we can leave that as is for the rendering we can uh, actually we can leave at intense blending but just make sure that the flow is at max otherwise you're gonna get this kind of a running out of ink every time you draw so we definitely want to set this um, for max. On wet mix, uh, I'm just going to make sure this is not affecting. And just before we get into color dynamics, I actually want to take off the, um, here we go. It's in the Apple Pencil section, go into the flow sub option and make sure that is set to zero. So now we have a standard brush that is not based on pressure. It doesn't have any tapering happening at the beginning or at the end of this, uh, this stroke. So this is basically what we want as a starting point. So now I'm just gonna clear the drawing pad once again and I wanna draw something a little bit nicer. And uh, this is going to be uh, the curve that we're going to start seeing some colors to it. Actually, as well, uh, let's just go back into the stroke path and let's just uh, increase the um, streamline here as we we are going to create a calligraphy brush so uh, calli calligraphy brushes and stuff that you do to actually write you know names and small words they do use uh, streamline streamline is actually quite helpful whenever you're doing stuff that requires you know write on with your with your hand so let's just turn that to max for now and let's now just go into the color dynamics here is where the magic starts to happen so uh, the first thing that we're going to do here on the stroke color jitter, we're actually going to turn that all the way up to maximum. And then we're going to turn the saturation at max as well. And now it's really interesting. This is where in the color pressure, in order for us to, because right now we, we're only getting a, a color. And every time I draw a stroke here, I get a new color, which is definitely really, really nice. But so far it's looking quite um, solid, doesn't have any shading, it's looking quite flat. Like the line is looking quite flat because there's no shading whatsoever in any of these curves. And the magic actually happens once we go into color pressure here and we turn that on and you, you start seeing almost like a neon, uh, the qualities of neon tubes where as uh, you know, over the curves, we start seeing like hotter areas and then darker areas. I know the camera here is actually uh, brightening up the colors. It actually looks in my, uh, on my side here, it looks way more vibrant, but I'm gonna try to edit or color correct this in the edit stage so that these colors go back as you're watching this video. 
So uh, right now what we have is a brush that, it, that at every stroke changes colors, which is super cool, but also um, lets you see that at every curve, there's that little hotness like corner, which is quite similar to um, you know neon uh, structures. So now you just have to click done, and that is the basics of this brush. So now uh, with that neon brush, I'm just actually go back into the selection, and this is the brush set that I've prepared for you. Uh, it's in the link uh, in the description of this video. So starting with uh, from the top, I've made a whole section with vivid, very vivid and bright colors. And then there's a subsection here with pastel and a bit more bright colors. So just going into the uh, sketch pencil, that's the very first one. Just as a general rule, if you're using the uh, ghost paper neon brush set, do not paint with full black. So I'm just gonna do it for you here. If you paint with black, because this is a color uh, emissive kind of brush, if you paint with black, nothing is going to show up on your canvas. Even if your canvas was white, you actually, well, in fact, you will only see a dark, a black stroke. So let's just go back into the color section here. Make sure that you're using, you know, full white or a full color. You could go here in mid gray, but then you're also gonna get a darker line. So let's just go uh, undo this and go back to full white. And now if I, again, do another stroke, you see that the colors are way more vibrant. And the other cool thing, once again, is that at every stroke, the lines have uh, randomized colors. So in this one, it's a very fine line. You can do um, very fine calligraphy as well. You can, you can just start writing things. Another really cool brush that I've prepared. So we have the, uh, the Vivid, uh, and then there's the Fine Pen which uh, it's very similar to this one, but this one has a little bit more grain as this is the sketch pencil that I've been calling the neon sketch pencil, as you can see here. And now if we use the, uh, the pen, the pen doesn't have any of those features. So if I zoom in, you see that it's just like a very uh, perfect outline with a nice crisp edge. So just in doing here, and let's just go back into the list. So then we have the medium pen, which is the one that I've showed you at the beginning of this video. And I'm just going, going to undo so you can see that at every time that I draw, I have a new color uh, generation or, or it generates the brush with a new color set. So back here in the brush set, let's keep going. Then I've prepared one that I call it the hairbrush. And this one has a really, really cool effect of like several, like multiple lines. Uh, it almost looks like, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like power lines a little bit. And then finally in the brush, um, we also have a little bit of stars, which neon couldn't be done without having a little bit of a sparkle in there. And once again, the sparkles are also colored Every time you um, you keep drawing, you generate a different set of sparkles. And then finally, this is, this was actually the sparse one. And then you have the coarse one with uh, that's a bit bigger and with more stars. So this is a very, very colorful brush set. And then you have the pastel colors, which are just a little bit brighter. Uh, so you have basically the same set with uh, pastel colors. And then finally, there is a little bit of shading that you can do with uh, a very similar to, uh, to a noise brush. So you can just paint that and you can do stuff that looks like this example right here, which I'll just show you. This is the one of the examples I've done by using this brush uh, pack. So I've created this like little character here with a little bit of shading and some very bright neon colors. And then the other one that I've created here is this really cool bicycle made with neon tubes. So I believe that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, a like would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of the reviews, tips and tricks, and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.